Hey, it's Eric. Welcome to a sitting down version of Beautiful and After. Here I wanted to talk about scissors versus razors. I mean, there's a lot of hairdressers that love to use razors. There's lots of different kinds, feather razors, just other kinds of razors. Um, and scissors, I mean, just traditional scissors. The, uh, to me, I think the razor is bad and I love the scissor. But the reason is, is there's kind of a, uh, if you're looking at a piece of hair, you know, and you call this one strand of hair, you're going to cut the hair either way with a razor, and it's razor sharp, it's a razor blade, it's going to slice into it. But when a razor cuts, it makes the hair look something like this. It's going to bring it to a point, cut it to a fine point. And that looks beautiful when you cut it because it's going to lay and feather and intermix. And with scissors, what's, what's the best that you could get, the best angle, you know, at best, would be something like this. So, you think, well, this will blend better, the point. But what that's going to start to do is that's going to start to split and crack and create split ends faster because that perfect point is going to start to fall, ap fall apart. So this will give your guest, your client, more split ends. This will last longer. And that's where you go into texturizers, different kinds of chunkers, and those things, different kinds of scissors, to create a razor cut. But in the end, from my you know, 12 years of experience, I'm going to say razor not so good it might look good and you know throwing hair like you're wild it's good on a hair stage but in reality for the everyday person not so much take your time do a good scissor cut and your clients gonna be happier so yeah that's it Eric for a uh, beautiful and after try to rate the videos comment on the videos subscribe on the videos it's solid gold thanks guys